So with the release of the Witcher um, Netflix series, the Witcher 3 actually made an enormous growth of 554%. Uh, so the Witcher 3 actually had a lot of new players coming in. So I figured um, I'm going to make a video about several um, secrets in the Witcher 3. It's going to be five secrets, so let's get started. Leo's grave. A senseless death could have been avoided. The first one on this list is going to be visiting Leo's grave. So if you don't know who uh, Leo is, Leo is actually a Witcher in training um, during the first Witcher game. And he was also killed at the very start of the game. So how did it actually happen to us? So Geralt and Leo actually wanted to confront the professor. But the professor had actually had a crossbow and he focused his attention to Geralt to see if the if, if Witchers were able to um, parry bolts in flight, so um, parry arrows. Um, Leo actually wanted to um, attack the professor from the side, but it actually didn't work because the instead of shooting Geralt, he actually shot um, Leo. I found it. We have what we came for. Professor, deal with those witches. I hear witches can parry bolts in flight. What happened? Smashed ribs, punctured lung. He's dying. He needs White Rufford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. It was here. I can't find it. Vesemir, Leo is dead. How did this happen? He attacked the Professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for Witchers, and something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body. To visit this location, go to Kaer Morhen, go to the Iron, Mi uh, Iron Mine uh, fast point, and go to this location. So the second one is going to be the House of Respite. The House of Respite is actually located in Valon, above the Nilfgaardian camp that you actually can find um, south um, east of the map. So what is actually special about the House of Respite? Well, the moment you actually find the House of Respite, you can actually you can't enter it. The guards will actually block your entrance and the gates won't open for you, but you can, you can actually enter. See, the House of Respite is actually a club for Nilfgaardian officers after a long day of work. So that's actually how you enter it. You actually have to wear a uh, Nilf Guardian um, armor. And after you wear Nilf Guardian armor, the guard will just let you pass with no problems. And the third one of this list is also going to be in the House of Respite. Did you know that the House of Respite actually changed during day or night? But of course, these changes are actually very small. For example, um, if you go to the um, left side of the room, you actually will see two guards blocking your entrance and um, a woman dancing over a man but if you go um, during the night this this actually is reversed you will see a man dancing for a woman and if you go outside during the night of um, the house of fresh pit you actually will see several bards actually um, performing fire eating it's actually uh, spewing fire uh, from the mouth i wanted to mention this secret in the house of respite because in my opinion not many people would actually know about this because 
to enter the health of specific is not easy and not many people will notice these changes during the day or night. So let's go to the fourth one on this list. And the fourth Easter egg is going to be on Mount Gorgon in Tucson. So this one is actually only, only obtainable by PC players because the PlayStation 4, Xbox and the Switch they actually can't use console commands or what I actually personally use was Anson. It's actually a tool that actually allow you to explore uh, freely with your camera. What is actually on top of Mount Gorgon? Well, it's actually something special. There's actually a picture, a uh, portrait that is actually of the team of CD Projekt Red that actually developed The Witcher 3. The main problem that I actually have with this location is that you actually not if you're not playing on the PC, you cannot actually reach it or if you reach it, actually you should be or it's going to be very hard. So in my opinion, how they actually should have done this Easter egg is actually through the ways of um, a secret portal that you actually have to do done several um, puzzles to reach it or through alchemy that you actually drink a potion and after the drinking um, set potion, you are teleported to the top of Mount Gorgon. And the fifth one on this list is going to be called the Witcher's Forge quest line. To start this quest, you actually have to go to Kaer Morhen, um, go inside Kaer Morhen and go in behind the um, room behind the kitchen and look for this chest where you actually have to pick up an item where the quest actually starts. Monstrum or a portrayal of witchers. Somebody's notes on the first page. If you actually picked up the quest item, you actually will have a piece of paper that actually will says this. For it is well known that when a witcher inflicts torment, suffering and death, experiences a semblance of pleasure and delight. The kind, uh, the kind a normal and righteous man only feels when performing his m marital duties with his spouse. Ipidem cum easculatio, from, from this is it, clearly follows that the witcher is in very matter of this being, a defiler of nature, an immoral and loathsome degenerate born from the darkest and rankest depths of hell. For only such as the evils himself can derive pleasure from suffering and torment. The book is a key, the mines near Kaer Morhen. So after this, go to the iron mine, go inside the mine, where you actually have to face a earth elemental. After this, you have, will have an um, interaction with the flame. The flame will actually um, turn in a, into a boss fight, uh, Ifrit boss fight. And after that, you actually have to use the metal medallion that Kira met um, gives. And you will actually find three chests that you can loot. Mine chests all contained um, armor pieces, chest for um, chest armor. And that is actually the Witcher's Force quest, uh, quest line. The reason why I actually added this one to this list is actually very simple. Kaer is actually a very small zone if you compare it to the others. A very beautiful zone, even my. But it doesn't actually give a lot of quests. So not many people are going to explore um, Kaer Morhen to its fullest. So thank you all for watching. Um, please let me know what you actually um, thought about this video. I want to do something new on this channel. I also wanted to talk about the next video that I'm going to upload. Um, it's going to be five um, a, a top five mods. It's going to be otherwise five mods that actually improves the Witcher or five mods that actually makes the Witcher 3 more closely to the uh, TV series. So thank you all for watching and hopefully I will see you guys next time.